Hello friends, I am Lakshmi Kant. Hope you all are fine, my dear. Here in this very topic, I am going to start uh, Kingdom Mandra, my dear. So in previous part, that is in part one, I was told you about the classification, how many types of classifications, as well as the scientists who tell about the different types of classification. The first scientist might be no that very name I was told in previous lecture that is Aristotle, right? And then after the two kingdom classification was given by the scientist whom, you know, that is uh, Carlos Lenesis, that is father of taxonomy, my dear. And then after the Ernest Haeckel gave three kingdom classification, four kingdom classification was given by the scientist Copeland and the fifth kingdom of classification was given by the scientist R.H. Whittaker in 1969, correct? And then after the one classification is also that is six kingdom classification that is kingdom mandra further be divided into two parts in kingdom mandra you already know that the sole organisms that is bacteria bacteria is further divided into two parts that is archaebacteria and eubacteria right so this one is classification is called six kingdom classification and this kingdom classification was given by the scientist carl ooze my dear right okay so now here but here we should have to know here the first classification that is the kingdom mandra my dear so in this very part two totally i discuss about the kingdom mandra that is soul organisms that is bacteria my dear okay so now we start the kingdom mandra okay let me start the kingdom which one kingdom mandra my dear so i am writing here what see kingdom Monera, my dear, right? Kingdom Monera. In Kingdom Monera, what we know, the sole member here, that is bacteria. Here the sole member, which one? Here, bacteria, right? Is that clear? Okay. So, in Kingdom Monera, here, bacteria is what? You already know that. It is cosmopolitan. It is what? cosmopolitan my dear so if i am saying here that word cosmopolitan it means what you know that is found everywhere my dear okay so bacteria the habitat is what each and every place so that's why i am writing here in a first point that is what bacteria is a sole member of kingdom order so what i am writing here bacteria is Soul member, see what I'm writing here. Soul member of kingdom, which one? Kingdom Monera. What the meaning of soul member? Akela, hai na? So, kingdom Monera ke under bacteria kya a jata hai? Sabse soul member aata hai. Yani sabse akela yehi member se hai. Jab hum log baat karte hain bacteria ke baare mein. We already know that number, यदि हम लोग number की बात करें bacteria का, तो number क्या है बेटा? आप जानते हो, largest number. What I am saying? Largest number of what? Microbe, my dear. What I am saying here? Microbe. Microbe means what? The organisms which cannot be seen with our naked eyes. So, largest in number. Okay. Now, next thing is here, habitat. What I am writing here? Habitat. See, if I am saying here habitat, so where it found? It found where? In a soil, in air, in water. So, that's why I am saying here what? Cosmopolitan. What I am writing here? Cosmopolitan. So, what the meaning of cosmopolitan? That the meaning is what? Found everywhere. Each and every place is the bacteria found right now here the habitat that is unusual habitat unusual habitat means what the habitat where we can't believe that the place the bacteria are alive yes so see unusual habitat what i am writing here unusual habitat see if i am writing here unusual habitat then where bacterially is found in acidic medium 
as well as what I am writing here high temperature high temperature clear as well as what deep sea my dear gahre samundra mein bhi milega deep sea also even a stomach of ruminant animals ruminant animals that is herbivorous animal stomach of which one animal a ruminant a ruminant animal my dear. correct Correct. So, universal habitat is what? Acidic. It is found in acid also. High heat temperature also. Deep sea also. Stomach and ruminant animal also. Okay. So, now see. I am saying here about the bacteria. Here, we further classify this one bacteria into two parts. In previous part, I, uh, I was also told about the bacteria further classified into two parts. That is what? Archaebacteria. One is what? Archaebacteria. And second one is what? Eubacteria. Second one, which one? Eubacteria. Clear? So here, the bacteria further be classified into how many parts? Two. One is what? Archae. Second one is what? Eubacteria. Now see, if I am saying here about this one as the bacteria, see, the bacteria is cosmopolitan, number one. Uh, number one. Wait for a moment. Here the kingdom. Kingdom Mondra, my dear. Correct? What I am telling here about kingdom Mondra. That is kingdom Mondra means what? Bacteria. It is the sole member. Kela Prani. Kingdom Mondra me paizane wala kya hai? Yes, that is bacteria. And here the bacteria which is found what? Everywhere. So that's why I am writing here word what? Cosmopolitan. Right? Bacteria is the sole member of kingdom Mondra. This point is clear. Number, largest number of microbes, habitat, every places, either the soil, air, water. So that's why I've written in bracket cosmopolitan. Unusual habitat also bacteria found that is an acidic medium, high temperature also, deep sea also, a stomach of a remnant animal also. Clear? Now the bacteria is what? Two. When we classify the bacteria into one is what? Archaebacteria. Second one is what? Eubacteria, my dear. See, after knowing these all things, now I am going to classify the bacteria. Now see, here I am saying what? Classification of bacteria. See what I am saying here? Classification of what? My dear, classification of bacteria. See, whenever I am going to classify the bacteria, now see how we classify Number one, number one, on the basis of, see what I am writing here, on the basis of shape, my dear, correct? On the basis of shape, number one, that is what? Cocos bacteria. What I am writing here? Cocos. So, cocos, which one shape? That is a spherical shape, like one. This one is Focus bacteria. Now, second one is what? Bacillus. What I am writing here? I am writing here what? Bacillus. That is what? A rod like structure. That is what? Bacillus. Correct? Bacillus. Third one. Third one is what that is vibrio vibrio my dear okay vibrio if i'm saying if i'm saying about the vibrio then which one let's see uh, vibrio bacteria in this way that is you say what omase bacteria in this way the same not in this way my dear wait for a moment in this way that is a coma shape bacteria clear vibrio now next one that is a spiralum that is what 
spirillum spirillum bacteria so how the spirillum bacteria let's see this one is this one is a spiral okay so cocus is what singular coci word is what plural bacillus is singular bacilli is what plural vibro is what singular vibram is what plural okay clear clear so most common shape that is what most common shape let's see what i'm writing here uh, wait for a moment most common shape i'm going to write here what most common shape what the most common shape my dear see the most common shape is what bacillus what i'm writing here bacillus and second thing that is what focus lack of flagella focus <laughs> lack of what flagella correct correct so this one is the so this one is the important thing about the kingdom mandra that is but bacteria media okay so now see the ncrt line here what i'm what i tell you here see see so bacteria are the sole member of kingdom mandra this line is written in the previous slide the most abundant microorganisms most abundant means what it found in large amount so bacteria occur almost everywhere just i told about this one thing hundreds of bacteria present in the handful of soil handful mitti me hundreds millions of bacteria they also live in extreme habitat what the extreme habitat that is what hot springs deserts snow deep oceans where very few others life forms can survive in that very place the bacteria can also live so many of them live in or other organisms as what parasites some are what parasites also clear this thing is clear my dear yes or no tell me first okay so now then after see what i'm going to tell now here i am going to tell you about the some ncrt line that is what ncrt line here see what i am going to write here what i am going to write here bacteria bacterial structure is very simple bacterial structure is what i'm saying very simple see if i'm saying here that the bacterial structure is what very simple they are complex in behavior very simple they are what they are what complex complex in what behavior see what i'm saying the structure is what very simple bacterial structure is what very simple but they are very complex in behavior this one is the ncrt line so here they show the what uh, most extreme metabolic activities see bacteria as a group so the most extensive metabolic diversity next point i am writing here what that is for a moment that is bacteria bacteria as a group because they are found in a group so the most so the what i'm saying most extensive 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 metabolic what metabolic metabolic what diversity See, metabolic diversity 
see what I'm saying. Bacteria is a group, so the what most metabolic diversity. So if I'm saying here that the bacteria is what most metabolic activity, it means what they have different different metabolic characteristics also. Okay. See how I'm saying this one thing because because they synthesize their own food. I am saying this one thing because they synthesize their what my dear own food so how they synthesize their own food my dear from the inorganic substances or you say the from inorganic substrate what i am saying inorganic substrates see here i am saying that whatever the bacteria they can synthesize their own food from inorganic substrates. So they may be photosynthetic, autotrophic, or you say the word chemosynthetic. So what I'm writing here in the next point, they may be what? They may be photosynthetic. See what I'm saying here, photosynthetic. So see if I'm saying here that the photosynthetic, autotrophic, photosynthetic what? autotrophic as well as or you say the chemosynthetic or you say what chemo chemosynthetic material see so they may be photosynthetic or you say the word chemosynthetic because autotrophic of two types one is photosynthetic second one is what chemosynthetic so see the bacteria is mostly either they having autotrophic photosynthetic or you say the chemosynthetic now next thing that is important here that majority of bacteria are what heterotrophs majority some of we are what photosynthetic but majority of bacteria is what heterotrophic so that's why i'm writing here majority of bacteria are what or what heterotrophic my dear what i'm saying heterotrophic clear that is they depend on the other organisms heterotrophic that is what depend on what other organisms see what i'm saying here depend here on the other organisms so majority of the bacteria are heterotrophic but some are photosynthetic also Either they having photosynthetic or the chemosynthetic. So, uh, majority of the bacteria is what? Heterotrophic which depend on other organisms. Clear? Or you say in heterotrophic or you say on dead organic matter. Or on what I am writing here? Dead organic matter. Clear, my dear, for what? For food, my dear. So this one is the clear, clear, C and C R T like. So this one is the shape of the bacteria. See, this one is the cocci bacteria. See, see, this one is what cocci, cocci bacteria, which is spherical in shape. This this one shape is, this one is a spherical. This one is a spherical shape. Bacillus, bacilli, bacilli word is plural. This one is rod shape bacteria. Clear? This one is the spore. Either they also found what is spore? A spirillum, a spirilla. Clear? This one is the vibrio, spirillum. Having this one is the flagellum. Okay, and vibrio having what? Comma shape bacteria. Comma shape bacteria. Clear? So now, here I am going to make the diagram of the structure of bacteria so that it will give more clear about this one. Okay. So see, I am going to draw a diagram of what bacteria. See how I am going to draw. Let's see in the next slide material. See in this one. I am going to draw a bacteria. See. Bacteria has a 
की लेयर्ड मेम्ब्रेन क्लियर It wait for a moment. First, I draw. Then I level the bacteria. Yes. Bacteria has three layered membrane. Yes. Bacteria has how many layered membrane, my dear? I'm telling. Three layered membrane. This one is the what outer membrane called glycocalyx. Clear? See, I'm going to write the name. This one is what my dear. This one is glycocalyx. See what I'm writing here. This one is glycocalyx. Clear? No, in white. But this one name, this one is called after glycocalyx. This one is what? Sail wall. This one is what? Sail wall. Okay. And now the inner membrane. This one is what? This one is called cell membrane. This one is called cell membrane. Together called, together called, but I am saying this together known as what I am writing here, cell envelope. What I am writing here? Cell envelope, my dear. Correct? Now see. What I am going to do here, here the cell membrane having inner folds. This is called mesos. This one is what? Mesos. Clear? This one is what? Nucleoid. This one is what? This one is plasmid. This one is what? Plasmid. See, this one is what? This one is plasmid. Clear? This one is what? Plasma. This one is fine. Here, like the structures known as what? Fimbriae. This one is what? Eli. What I am making? This one is what? Inner membrane having inner folds. This one is called chromatophore.
And this one is what? True matter. Let's see. This one is this one is what ribosomes. This one is what ribosome. This one is what chromatophore. Wait for a moment. Chromatophore. These e are called what? Mesosome. This one is what? Plasma. Clear. This one is called fimbri. This one is called pili. Okay, so now inside the flagella, there is a rod like structure. Clear? This rod like structure is called, called filament. This means what? This one is filament. And this one is what? Nucleoid. This one is nucleoid. Clear? No. This one is what? Here. This one is called inclusion bodies. Clear? See what I am writing here. This one is what? Inclusion. Bodies. Clear? So this one is the diagram of what? Bacteria. So each and everything here I am leveled. That is what? See? Uh, glycocalyx outer layer number first this one is the second cell wall and third one is what cell membrane this glycocalyx cell wall and cell membrane together known as what cell envelope correct so this one is the plasmid this one is the plasma clear and see in plasma here divided into three parts this is called this is called basal body basal body this one is called hook this one is called what hook and this one is what filament this one is what filament clear clear yes so these all are the diagram of what bacteria body clear now see from ncrt See, what the things I was told in previous slide, this one is written in your NCRT also, my dear. See, what? Though bacteria, bacterial structure is what? Very simple, but they are very complex. So, this statement I was also written in previous slide also. See, this one statement I am written here. See, bacterial structure. Bacterial structure is what? Very simple. I am written here. Na? Very simple. Very simple. I am written here. See, very simple. But they are complex. Complex in what behavior? See, I am written here. So that's why I am mm -hmm. telling you. Check here. Things is also written near NCRT. So simple in the structure, but complex in what behavior? See. Compared to many other organisms, bacteria as a group show the most extensive metabolic diversity. This one is also given by me also. 
सम बैक्टीरिया आर व्हाट ऑर्थोट्रॉफिक व्हाट आई एम सेइंग सम आर ऑर्थोट्रॉफिक दैट दे सिंथेसाइज देयर ओन फूड फ्रॉम इनऑर्गेनिक सब्सटेंसेस या इनऑर्गेनिक सबस्ट्रेट्स दे मे बी फोटोसिंथेटिक इफ दे हैव फोटोसिंथेटिक ऑर्थोट्रॉफिक और यू से द वर्ड द केमोसिंथेटिक ऑर्थोट्रॉफिक मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया आर व्हाट हेट्रोट्रॉफ्स दिस वन टोल्ड they depend on other organisms or deed and decompose organic matter clear my dear so this one is the point i was told in previous slide also now see next thing that what the important so here i am going to write what the structure the structure of bacteria clear so with the help of diagram i was shown here let's see the diagram this one is the diagram of what bacteria see this one is the structure of bacteria so now i'm going to proceed each and every structure of bacteria in details my dear clear now see in this one okay the structure of bacteria mein hum log kya dekhenge sabse pehla baat hum log kiski baat karenge structure of bacteria mein kiski baat karenge फर्स्ट हम लोग बात करेंगे किसका सेल इनवलप का सबसे पहला क्या था सेल इनवलप सो हियर वी टॉक अबाउट विच वन सेल इनवलप माई डियर सो सेल इनवलप टूगे विच वन दैट पार्ट दैट इज आउटर रीजन ग्लाइकोकैलिक्स देन आफ्टर द सेल वॉल देन आफ्टर द सेल मेम्रेन सो सेल मेम्रेन इज द इनर मोस्ट लेयर ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया आउटर मेम्रेन इज ग्लाइकोकैलिक्स इन मिडिल देर इज वॉट सेल वॉल क्लियर सो सेल इनवलप किसको किसको मिलाकर हमने बोला था याद करके देखिए सबसे पहला क्या था आउटर आउटर क्या था चेक करे थे डायग्राम में ग्लाइकोकैलिक्स क्या था ग्लाइकोकैलिक्स राइट फिर इसके बाद सेकेंड मिडिल में क्या था मिडिल लेयर क्या था कमेंट सेक्शन में आप बता सकते हैं डियर मिडिल लेयर में क्या था यस दैट इज सेल वॉल और अंदर का जो लेयर था बेटा थर्ड इनर मोस्ट लेयर इज वट दैट इज यू से वट सेल मेम्रेन दैट यू से वट सेल मेम्रेन टूगेदर नोन एज वट सेल इनवलप टूगेदर नोन एज वट सेल इनवलप मेडियर सो दिस वन इज गिवेन पेज नंबर एनसीआर टी ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड वन ट्वेंटी एट क्लियर यू कैन चेक ऑल्सो एनसीआर टी पेज नंबर NCERT page number you can also check 127 and 128 man correct see here i am going to tell you about the outer layer number 1 that is first glyco glycocalyx that is outer outer layer material correct so see what i am saying here outer layer here the outermost layer of the bacteria which is divided into two parts two parts number 1 that is what slime layer slime layer and second one is what capsule if they having a capsule then it's called capsulated otherwise not capsule correct so now see here the slime layer are of two way that is either they have loose and slimy what i'm saying here loose and slimy i am saying and second one is what second one that is you say thin layer in thin layer clear okay now in a capsulated if they have then it is what then it has what thick layer then it is thick as well as what tough and which one strain is here s strain which one bacteria is it s strain and if they having s strain then it have what capsulated then it has what capsulated correct correct so if they having what a s strain then it means what it's make what 
capsulate right so glycocalyx is the outer layer of the bacteria okay now second layer second layer that is cell wall second layer that is what cell wall right so now i am saying about the cell wall then what i am saying here about the cell wall see this one is what plant you know that the plant is in plant made up of what cellulose cellulose but if the fungi fungi also having cell wall that is called chitin then i am saying here what chitin so now if i am saying about the bacteria in a bacteria they also having a cell wall so in a bacteria it is made up of carbohydrate carbohydrate along with the word amino acid along with the word amino acid okay that is called peptidoglycan right clear so this one is the structure now see here whatever the things that is archaebacteria so when we move through the archaebacteria the first of all we should must have to know about the what cell envelope first then after we have to be move ahead okay in the archaebacteria and eubacteria so first of all i would like to tell you about which one uh, wait a moment i am going to add a slide so that's why i am taking here see this one is thing is clear so before we move to this one archaebacteria here we need some more extra slides so that's why i will explain here all the different parts of what yeah see what i'm going to tell you in this slide in this slide what i'm going to tell let's see now i'm going to tell you about on the basis of cell envelope see what i'm going to write this color my dear i want to bring color white okay let's take color which one white is visible to all of you see what i'm writing here I'm going to write here on the basis of what cell envelope on the basis of what cell envelope the thickness on the basis of cell envelope the thickness on thickness is be differ yes or no so on the basis of thickness of cell wall cell envelope number one and second thing on the basis of on the basis of thickness of silver see what i'm saying here i'm saying here dear here we classify the bacteria in two way on the first on the basis of the cell envelope then after on the basis of the thickness of silver correct when i'm going to tell here on the basis of thickness of cell wall then it classified into two parts one is what one is gram gram positive bacteria one is what gram positive bacteria and second one is what gram negative bacteria correct one is what gram positive bacteria second one is what gram negative bacteria see what the difference between gram positive and gram negative bacteria see my dear first point here in a gram positive bacteria cell wall is what thick my dear correct while in gram negative bacteria cell wall is what thin my dear correct number one now number two here retain stain it means what color 
retain a stain my dear but in gram negative bacteria do not retain a stain do not what i'm saying retain stain my dear this is the third second difference now third difference is what here the example of that is what lactobacillus is a gram positive bacteria lactobacillus as well as cholestridum as well as, as, well as what colus freedom and in this one here the bacteria is that is what rhizobium rhizobium is gram negative bacteria rhizobium or you say the e coli bacteria is also cyanobacteria also cyanobacteria as well as you say the mycoplasma mycoplasma is all having what a gram negative bacteria now here in a gram positive bacteria they are containing what mesosome so see mesosome is here while in this here what present here porins present that is opening porins eli present and this one is what and toxin so that's why i'm saying what this one is ppt clear this thing is clear so now see so if i'm saying here that which one is the gram staining bacteria and gram staining bacteria was given by uh, gram staining bacteria was given by the scientist gram Training bacteria was given by the scientist Christian Gram. Which one is the site name? Christian Gram, my dear. Correct? Correct? Now, next, on the basis of now the cell membrane. Other part is what? cell membrane of bacteria see here the cell membrane but the cell membrane you we all know that the cell membrane is made up of lipid bilayer what i am writing here in cell chapter that is in cytology you, you already study about the cell membrane the cell membrane is what lipid bilayer what i am saying lipid bilayer see if i am saying here the lipid bilayer it means what it is made up of phospholipid is made up of what phospholipid see the structure of this lipid bilayer i'm going to draw this one is this one is what lipid this one is what lipid bilayer so if upper end is called hydrophilic Upper end is what? That is polar head, hydro, hydrophilic end, and this one is what? Hydrophobic. This one is what? Hydrophobic, my dear. Correct? Correct? Now mm -hmm. see, here, the, what the important point to be know here, here the very important point to know here my dear what the important important point here let's see plasma membrane is structurally similar here important point is what plasma membrane that is also called cell membrane plasma membrane plasma membrane at what I am saying here, plasma membrane are structurally similar, are structurally, what I am saying, similar to whom? To eukaryotic cell. 
to eukaryotic to eukaryotic cells. See, so if anybody can ask you about what the plasma membrane, the plasma membrane are structurally similar to eukaryotic cell. So whatever the eukaryotic cell, the plasma membrane is the same as the plasma membrane also found in which where in a bacteria also. Correct? Now see. Next point that is what mesosome. See something about what mesosome. Here, the extension of plasma membrane. You know, the extension of plasma membrane. I will make the diagram there also. See what I am writing here extension of extension of what I am writing here. Extension of what I am writing here. Plasma membrane. See. Here I am writing what extension of plasma membrane. Yes or no? So extension of plasma membrane. So here the diagram that is outer membrane glycocalyx. This one is the cell wall and inner membrane having inner extension. This is called this one is called mesosome. Right? This one is what mesosome. Yes or no? Because this outer layer is called glycocalyx. Glyco calyx this one is called which one this one is called cell wall and inner membrane is what cell membrane this one diagram na cell membrane. cell membrane is made up of what lipid bilayer phospholipid so now the extension of plasma membrane see this one is the extension of plasma membrane known as what mesosome known as what mesosome so see here extension of the plasma membrane on the basis of surface area what i'm saying here on the basis of what surface area surface area it classify into three parts it Classify into how many parts made here into three parts. So see what I am saying here. I am saying here that the extension of plasma membrane is called mesosome. So mesosomes gland classify into three parts on the basis of the word surface area. So see, and this one is the diagram to make. So suppose number one that is vesicles. So if this one diagram is like this, then it is called what? Vesicle. Okay. Now, second one. If the structure is like this, like this mesosome, then it is called tubular. Then it is called tubular. Now, third one is like in this way then it is called lamella then it's called what lamella or lamellae so there are three types of mesosome one is vesicles second one is tubular and third one is what lamellae so this one is the what the different different types of mesosomes which is the inner extension of the plasma membrane okay now see what the role here I am going to write what role. See, role of mesosome. See here, enzyme for respiration. Wait a moment. Number one, enzyme for respiration. Enzyme for what? Enzyme for respiration. So, see, if I am making a diagram here, the outer layer glycocalyx.
outer layer is what glycocalyx <coughs> second one layer is what cell wall and this one in the third layer called mesosome and this mesosome having inner foot the cell is what mesosome so this mesosome is responsible for enzyme for respiration clear second one is what cell wall formation cell wall formation now third one is what uh, dna replication when the dna replicate this one is the mesosome dna DNA replication in the fourth point here that is what cell division. Cell division. Here are the major four roles of mesosomes. One is what enzyme for respiration, second one is cell wall formation, or DNA replication, and fourth one is what cell division material. Correct? So now here some bacteria also contain what? chromatophore am i right okay. diagram i was already made in previous slide see here the chromatophore chromatophore is only present in blue green bacteria chromatophore it is a pigment that are attached where it is present see here what i'm writing here this one is the what? Chromatophore is what? Pigment are attach on the membrane. Attach on the where? On the membrane known as known as what? Chromatophore. So if I make this one diagram earlier, let's make here. See this one is the glycocalyx. This one is the word glycocalyx. This one is what? Cell wall. And here the inner membrane that is what? Plasma membrane or you say the cell membrane. Clear? So this inner membrane having inner folds, this inner fold is called chromatophore. And this chromatophore containing a what pigments which are attached on the membrane known as what chromatophore. And this can only be present where this one is glycocalyx. This one is what cell wall right and this one is what this one is called cell membrane my dear correct so together known as what cell envelope so here i am saying what this extension of the word cell membrane from what chromato from what chromato Four, my dear, which is basically found where in a blue green algae. In a blue green cyanobacteria. Uh, that is what? So, you, know, you say, my dear, that is, you say what? Cyanobacteria, sorry. A blue green algae, you say what? It is present where? This one is what cyanobacteria. Correct. Now, the other thing that is also some flagella. See, these all things I was made in the diagram also. See, this one is the diagram. This one is the diagram to tell you this one is the diagram. Clear? See, here the meso mesosome term is clear. Mesosome term is clear. Chromatophore is clear. Okay. 
now i am going to tell you about what flagella this one flagella see in this slide mesosome is clear chromatophore is clear now i am going to tell you about what flagella so write down the point that is what flagella my dear so what about the flagella see here this picture Here the vessel body, that the vessel body, this one is the what? Hook. And this one is what? Flagella. Clear? So see, this one is vessel body. This one is what? Hook. And this one is what? This one is what? Flagella. At the flagella, there is a rod like a structure known as what filament, which keeps safe. This one is, this one is what filament. Okay, so if anybody can ask you about the flagella, is made up of what? Flagella is made up of made up of what protein what i'm saying protein so which one protein here the flagellin protein the name of protein the name of that very protein is what you say flagellin protein what i'm saying flagellin protein so this flagellin protein having different types of protein having what different types of protein material correct correct <coughs> now if anybody can ask you about this one is the prokaryotic na this one is a prokaryotic but eukaryotic flagella eukaryotic eukaryotic flagella is made up of tubulin protein is made up of what tubulin so see what the thing is important here to know that is what the structure of flagella having three parts that is what see number one vessel body number two hook number third is what filament and this one is what flagella so it is made up of what protein flagellin protein and this flagellin protein which one prokaryotic this one is what prokaryotic so prokaryotic flagella is made of what flagellin which having different types of protein while in eukaryotic while in eukaryotic the flagella is just made up of a tubulin protein so this one is very important to know clear clear here now next thing is here Uh, in note you can write down non motile flagella non motile bacteria you say non motile bacteria doesn't contain flagella doesn't contain flagella what i am saying here so if I am saying here that this one is the point is very notable point that you have to be keep in mind. So whenever I am saying that so uh, non motile bacteria, then that bacteria doesn't contain what flagella. So if I am saying that the bacteria containing flagella, it means what they having what motile bacteria. Okay. So now see. Uh, non motile bacteria doesn't contain flagella here is some example also which one example here nostoc nostoc you say anabena you also write down uh, nostoc not anabena focus you say focus as well as what microplasma they do not contain what flagella 
clear clear now see other structure that is what pili other structure that is what pili so this one is the structure of pili na suppose This one is the structure of what? This one is what? Pili in bacteria, right? So if I am saying about the pili, that is what? It is tubular in shape. What I am writing here? This one is what? Tubular in shape. What the shape? Tubular in shape. Less number. Less number, but large in size. in size my dear clear clear so now see so if i am this one is the pili now i am going to tell you about the what embryo so see drawing what embryo embryo so see the Structure of embryo. This one, bacteria suppose, and this one is what find here like the structures. This one is what bristle shape. This one is what bristle shape. This bristle shape more in number, more in number, and what small in size. small in size so if anybody can ask you what the difference between pili and fimbriae then what you say in pili tubular in shape while in a fimbriae bristle in shape in pili less number but large in size while in fimbriae more in number but small in size so this one is the difference between the word pili and fimbriae material correct hope so clear hope so clear now here one thing that is also very important to note that what see here what I am writing pili plus fimbriae what I am writing here fimbriae plus plasma plasma together called together called what surface structure Either called what surface structure body correct also this one is clear clear or not tell me first okay so these all are the what some parts of flagella clear so now in next part my dear some little bit uh, parts also left here so in next part and continue uh, that is the next part that is what nucleoid and then after the plasmid types of plasmid and then after the what uh, how many types of plasmid there and ribosomes there's some ribosomes is also some little bit point is be left there so in next part we will discuss that okay thank you for watching thank you